Hari Om everyone and welcome back to Sanskrit Word of the Month. Today we will discuss the meaning of the word Vimarsha. Vimarsha can be translated as contemplation or reflection. For instance, it appears in the Bhagavad Gita at the very end when Krishna says to Arjuna, Reflect upon all this which I have told you and then do what you wish, what you like, giving him the freedom to decide the course of his action. Vimarsha is a synonym of meditation in the Amara Gosha, one of the most important texts of Hindu learning tradition or the Sanskrit learning tradition. But very literally, Vimarsha comes from the root mrish, which means to touch, with the prefix vi, which means specifically, and thus is often rendered as to specifically touch with the mind, to touch a matter with the mind. In the Kashmiri tradition, which also has spilled over into the Tibetan tradition, it very specifically refers to the contemplation of one's own states. Bhavanam Vimarsha. That the body has certain states, pleasant, painful, tingling, irritation, restlessness, peacefulness, tranquility, and to specifically touch, to know these with the mind is Vimarsha. And this brings about a flowering of awareness or samvitti. Also, the emotional states and the mental states themselves can be known through Vimarsha, through reflecting upon them. What is the benefit of that? If you live your life based on the emotion of envy, for instance, and you are not aware of it, it means you take decisions, entire periods of your life, being based upon such decisions, and you're not even aware of it. Thus, Vimarsha, when it becomes our very nature to constantly be aware, to constantly reflect upon every single minute occurrence within our consciousness, becomes the way to liberation. Then it becomes the way to knowing our true nature as Shiva. This is called Purnoham Vimarsha, realizing that I am the complete, I am the perfect. Thus, if you wish to practice Vimarsha or reflection, tomorrow morning when you wake up, observe your states and the full day. Do not stop observing, stop knowing, do not stop ever. Constantly know every moment occurring and then you are on the right course to freedom, to understanding your own true nature. Namaste and see you soon for the next Sanskrit Word of the Month.